according to Psalms 35, every evil against my God is destroyed. Every instrument of harm fashioned against me is made useless, and every activity of the enemy manifesting in my life in the form of frustration is destroyed in Jesus' name. God has a better plan for me, and therefore any evil and demonic plan of the enemy cannot stand. Who decrees a thing when the Lord has not commanded it? Whatever I permit on earth is permitted in heaven, and whatever I reject and terminate is terminated in heaven. I therefore terminate and frustrate every evil plan and conspiracy against me. I decree and declare that I am untouchable and every soul an enemy against my life and good run mad in Jesus' name. Jeremiah 17 According to the word of the Lord, evil conspirators plotting evil against me receive double the evil they plot against me. They shall receive double their wicked plan. They fall and get buried into every pit they have dug for me in Jesus' name. I dislodge every foundational problem that has given the enemy access to hurt me. I dismantle and paralyze your effort and your works in Jesus' name. My life and destiny is hidden in Christ and therefore I refuse to negotiate with the enemy. As the fire came down from heaven and devoid the sacrifice on the altar, may fire roast all your plans and your works in Jesus' name. Like David, every Goliath plotting to put me in perpetual bondage and servitude, I destroy with you with stones from the altar of the living God. They didn't know that what they were planning was to the favor of Jesus. If they had known, they won't have crucified him. I therefore decree that the Lord turn your counsels into good. Every plot and plan against me turns to me good and my favor. I abide in the shadow of his winds, and no evil manipulation or conspiracy harms me. It turns to my good. I am a divine seed in the hand of the Most High God, and therefore, as nothing can harm or touch my God, nothing harms or touches me. I am shielded, safe, and secured in Jesus' name. Like Abraham, whoever causes or plots evil against me receives downfall because I am a seed of Abraham. Declare this affirmation boldly. There is no harm. There is no hurt. I reject, break, and dissolve every snare of the enemy against me. I attract good to my life only. Evil attack is far from me. I am covered in Christ. I cannot fall victim to evil attacks and plans. What cannot attack Jesus can't find access to attack me. Wherever my name is mentioned for evil, fire appears in their midst. I and all I have is safe from attack. I am under divine protection. Weapons fired in my direction misfires. The Lord is my helper. I am full of courage. The Lord protects me every day and in every way. I am protected from negative and evil impacts. I can't be harmed. I can't fall. This is my heritage. You are the apple of God's eye, and therefore he would not allow the enemy to win over you. The enemy and the battle are not all physical. We wrestle against rulers, against authorities, against powers and spiritual forces of darkness. Therefore, every force and power that plans to bring you down shall not stand. God shall expose them all. May the Lord who reveals secrets show you all men that surround you and give you victory over all of them. As God showed Nehemiah the enemies that were against the rebuilding of the wall, every Sambalat, Tobiah and associations that intend to frustrate your effort shall be frustrated and defeated. The Lord shall give you strength today not to become tired or weary of their schemes and plans. Every plot made against you in the secret and the dark shall be exposed. Surely they shall gather, but every gathering and plan by the enemy and evil association shall not stand. The Lord shall reveal all to you. Just as the Lord has declared that whoever digs a pit for you 
shall fall into such pit, and every one that raises a stone to crush you, the stone shall crush them. This shall be your portion. With your eye shall you see and behold the evil that befalls all they that plan evil against you. You shall not be victim of their wickedness. God shall expose them all, and their plot shall overtake them. The angels have been deployed to guard and protect you, and therefore I pray for you today. No threat or plot occasioned against you shall stand. Every evil agent plotting to frustrate your business and endeavor is disgraced and exposed today. Every cane that intends to kill you and bury you in cold blood is exposed today. You carry the blood of Jesus and therefore whoever seeks to destroy you shall be exposed in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus in you speaks better than the blood of Abel and shall speak for you. You shall not be wasted like a chicken. There shall be no loss of all that is connected and associated with you. By your virtue of association and relationship with the Holy Spirit, the revealer of secrets, you shall not be left in the dark or taken unaware. Your spiritual eye is opened, and by his right hand shall be cut off every wolf in sheep's clothing, flocking to terminate your life. Today, the protective cover is loosened over you and all that concerns you, and no evil shall befall you, and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The Holy Spirit shall bring to light every counsel and device of the evil one, and they shall have no effect on you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I disconnect and expose from your life and all that concerns you from every hiling. I expose and disconnect you from every Judas that would want to betray and ruin your life. Their counsel, devices and schemes shall not stand. I disconnect and expose every Absalom trying to steal good people from your life and divert them off. As Jesus wasn't taken away of anything and anyone, your spiritual sensitivity is brightened today and you shall not be deceived. Like Daniel, God shall expose and defeat the enemies before your very eye. No conspiracy, no hidden plot and agenda against you shall stand, because God shall expose it and them all in the name of Jesus. You shall not fail, you shall not be wasted, you shall not be deceived, you shall not be lost, and no evil against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus.